Welcome guys to another episode of the N54 Maintenance Series. My name is Frank Macaluso and today we're going to be replacing the water pump. Please take a look at all the other videos in the series. They're anywhere between five and 10 minutes, which is not very long if you wanted to binge them all, but we are not going to be removing everything in this series, in this video, in order to get to the water pump and replace it. We're going to be doing the actual pump removal, we're gonna be inspecting, and we're gonna be putting the new one on. So please take a look at all the other videos in this maintenance series playlist for the N54 that identify how to remove some of those components in order to access that water pump. Stand by, guys. So there is the water pump in all of its glory. Yes, I dropped the subframe a little bit, which you don't have to do in order to access, but it does make things easier. Unfortunately, it's not easy to remove the subframe, but we are going to be removing this water pump as is, and it will end up being glorious. Look how dirty this thing is. Oh my God, there was so much oil that was leaking from the valve cover, it got on everything. And now we're going to be replacing not only the pump, but also the, uh, the thermostat with new. And I think we have a couple of tubes we're gonna also be replacing as well because they got destroyed from oil damage as well. So in order to access and remove this pump, you need to remove these two lower bolts. These are E12s and as actually I think they're E14s. And there's also one right up here that needs to be removed. In order to drain the coolant here, you have to remove, well, you can see it's actually draining right now. You have to remove this tube here and that actually just kind of spills over everything. And that allows the coolant to be completely drained so that you can then remove the, the uh, whole pump assembly. Sorry, I got a burp. <sighs> sorry. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sorry. I'm allowed to burp if I want to burp. But hey, you have to remove the electrical connectors, um, the ground. Very important that you remove all of those items before dropping uh, the pump. Now, all these things need to be removed. So what we need to do is take out this, take out this, take out that guy right there, that U-shaped tube right there, and, um, and then obviously the hardware and everything should basically just drop down. These are the two coolant pumps. This is the old one, this is the new one. And there are a couple of differences. Well, first we had to obviously transfer over the thermostat bolts here and hook them up into here. We're gonna be reusing that hardware, but this is a new thermostat. This tube will be getting reused. It looks like it's in pretty good condition, so it's okay to get reused and then hook it right back up into the thermostat there. Um, the other noticeable difference here uh, is the location, not the location, but the way that the, uh, the bolt holes were hooked up. These are actually, um, floating with, uh, with some rubber grommets in there. There's a one, two there, and then there's one of, over there, but the rubber just basically disintegrated. So I guess the replacement version didn't have any of that. So um, we're gonna be reusing new hardware. This is new hardware, this is the old hardware. We're gonna be reusing, or we're gonna be using new hardware here that came with the kit, um, and this is gonna be hard mounted to the actual engine block. So this is actually gonna be pretty cut and dry replacement, and uh, and uh, yeah, let's just, let's just get this thing prepared by removing the two bolts and getting it on here and then the hose and everything else. Look how clean this is. All the wiring, this whole area is so much cleaner. It's gonna make it so much more enjoyable to work on. And that's all we're gonna need to do is just reinstall. The reinstallation is the reverse of the removal, but we will be putting it on, we'll be torquing these three down with the new aluminum hardware. Make sure that this guy is installed, make sure this is installed, and I got a new hose that goes up to the block, up there, up to the cylinder head actually, and that guy uh, is a new uh, hose, and uh, we gotta make sure we get all of our, all of our electrical connections done as well. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just go for the reinstallation now. I'm actually having a really hard time getting this, getting this hose here installed onto the pump. Um, once this hose gets turned up, installed onto the actual thermostat housing, 
I think things will be a lot easier, but it's really hard to get that hose on. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to, to do it. I used a, tried to pry it, that didn't work. Um, I'm gonna try something else and see what, I, see what that does and I'll let you know. All right, I got it in um, and I got one little bolt here secured. But um, the problem that I was having was, is getting the coolant line from the block to go through and into the, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can show you here. It's hard to show you actually. There it is. This guy right here, all right? The problem that I was having was that this guy here was, was set in a fixed position, although it moved a little bit because it was rubber. The problem I was having was that I couldn't get this wedged in between the block and the rubber, but I was able to twist it. When you twist it a little bit, it kind of finesses this in and over the, the nipple, and that really is what helped to get this thing set up. So I'm, I'm, I'm good there. Now I just need to tighten these three, make the electrical connections, and then I'm done. So that just about does it guys. Everything is now installed and torqued. Ground lug is on, thermostat is on, the main connector is plugged in. All of these hose clamps have been tightened. These guys were torqued down. There's one down there, two down there, and there's a third one, 88 inch pounds. Guys, all of these have been completely um, clicked in and all hose clamps have been tightened. That just about does it for the water pump installation. And that just about does it for me for this video. Guys, my name is Frank Magaluso. This is the N54 maintenance series. 20 to 25 videos, check them all out, guys. I'm hoping that they're binge worthy. If they're not, then please just tell me and I'll just do better next time. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Hope you found this useful and take a look at all the other videos. I am out of here, later.